Hello and welcome to a numbers edition of Apple A Day. This episode continues my series on text functions for Apple Numbers. Today I'll be covering these functions, left, right, and mid. These three text functions all have similar functionality. They all take a text string as a parameter and then return a portion of that text string. So let's start with the left function. I've got a document open with some sample data. In the first column, I have a list of product codes and these codes are comprised of three sections. There's a prefix and a suffix and something like a product name in the middle, all separated by a hyphen. Now let's say I wanted to extract the prefix from this product code. Because the prefix is consistently three characters in length, I can use the left function, which will return the specified number of leftmost characters from a text string. If this prefix varied in length from, say, three characters to five characters, I would not be able to use the left function. Luckily, Numbers has many other text functions to get around that scenario, functions like text before and text between. I'll be covering those in a future tutorial. So I'll create a formula by typing in the equal sign to bring up the formula editor, and then I'll type in the function name, left, and press return. And you can see that it takes two parameters, the source string and the string length. So the source string is the text we're extracting characters from, and the string length is the number of characters that we're extracting. So I'll select this first product code for the source string, and then I'll press tab to move to the string length parameter. We want the three first characters so I'll type in the number three. And if I press return, we now have the first three characters of that product code. I'll copy this formula into the rest of the cells. And you can see we have successfully pulled the prefix from all of these product codes. So that's what left does, nothing more to it. And by this time, I'm sure you already figured out what right is used for. Instead of returning the leftmost characters, the right function returns the rightmost characters. So next, I want to extract the product code suffix. And once again, we're lucky that the suffix in all of these codes is the same number of characters in length, four to be precise. So I'll type in the equal sign to bring up the formula editor and type in right and press return. It has the same two parameters that the left function has, source string and source length. I'll select the first product code as the source string. Then I'll press tab to move to the source length parameter. And here we want the four rightmost characters. So I'll type in four and if I press return, we can see that the suffix has been extracted successfully. I'll copy this formula to the rest of the cells, and you can see that it worked perfectly. So just like the left function, that's all there is to the right function. Both of these functions have a variety of uses, including what I just showed you. So the last function I'm going to cover today is the mid function. As its name suggests, mid lets you extract characters from the middle or from somewhere inside the source string. Continuing with our product code example, let's say I need to pull out this inside section between the dashes. The mid function, just like the left and right functions, works with specified character counts as well as an absolute position within the text. So we're able to use it because these codes are consistent in their structure. So to get this middle chunk, which is the product name, we need to pull out characters 5 through 12. And that's perfect for the mid function's capabilities. So in the product name column, I'll type in the equal sign again to bring up the formula editor. Then I'll type in mid and press return. The mid function takes three parameters, the source string, just like with left and right, but the second parameter is different. It's called start position. And as it suggests, this is the starting character position within the source string. And the third parameter is the string length. And this is the number of characters to return. So for string source, once again, I'll select the product code. Then I'll press tab to move to string position. So we know that the product name starts at character, uh, let's see, one, two, three, and four for the hyphen, so character five. I'll type in five and press tab to move to the string length parameter. And it looks like the length of this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters. So I'll type in the number eight. So the mid function will look at this product code and return eight characters starting at and including character five. And by the way, the first character is character number one, not zero as it might be in some other programming languages. I'll press return and there we have the product name extracted from the product code. I'll copy this formula to the rest of the cells. And that's it, that's all there is to it. So these three functions, left, right, and mid 
are very common text functions used not just in numbers, but in a variety of programming languages. Well, that's it for today. Keep my channel growing by liking, subscribing, and commenting. Every bit helps. Thanks so much for watching. I'm John Martins, and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple A Day. <laughs>